Take a look at what I'm showing you. This Gregatron. And many of you know I've been collecting stuff for a while. Quite a while. A long time, actually. And it would be a disservice if I didn't show you these. And this is just one section, all right? I got more than this, which that'll be in a different video, all right? Since we're in the front, we might as well get started in the front. These three, man, really shows off the front nice. Really kicks it off well, doesn't it? We got soups. That's from Superman Ascension. He's rising up. I really like this Superman. I had to put him front and center. Look at how his chest presses out. Look at the shoulders. Look at the arms. Look at the muscularity. Look at the gains coming from soups. All the colors pop. He's coming out of the clouds. This could be its own video. We got the Batman who laughs. He's real ugly. Let's zoom in on him. I mean... And these are PVCs, guys. These are only $40 a pop. So you might say, well, that adds up to a lot of money. I mean, yeah, but not really. Because people spend money on stupid stuff all the time. We got Batman. Which Batman was this? I can't remember. But my favorite thing about this Batman is the cape. Look at that cape. Stop playing with Batman. I got more Batman in a different room. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a Batman collection video. I got Batman statues at work. Let's come up here a little bit, shall we? Let's move on over to Deathstroke. Another gallery. Diamond Select PVC. Look at the bullets around his chest. You know what? Let me come over here. Yeah. Look at the texture. Look at the boots. Look at the weaponry. Alright. Let's come over to my boy Scarecrow real quick. I'm trying to get a close up. Scarecrow, where are you at? Ah. Get in there. Yeah. All right. Speaking of villains, you know what? Real quick, Superman. I'm going to have to get him out of the way just for a second, just to show some respect. We got Lex Luthor. We have Lex Luthor. The good villain. Come on now. We got the Red Death. Now this was the first one I bought from DC. The first one. And to this day, I think he's actually still my favorite. Just because of that pose. And the bats flying around him, which is actually Speed Force. That's the nicest. Yeah, to this day, that's the nicest figure. To this day. Alright, let me put Superman back real quick. Alright. Let's move on up. Let's get to Two-Face, shall we? 
This is one of my favorites. I've always been a Two-Face fan. I always thought the character was fascinating. Super fascinating. With the split personality disorder. But I like this portrayal. I like the jacket. I like the face. Let's zoom in on his eyeball. Yeah, this guy's just a bad guy. Just... Just terrible. Terrible guy. But one of my favorite villains. Let's get back to the Flash. This, I just call it the Speed Force Flash. Because he's translucent. You can see through him. Which is dope. He's running on water in this case. Alright. So this Batman Beyond might be a separate review. Just out of justice and respect. <laughs> I mean... This is the cleanest adaptation of a Batman Beyond you can find. You can see these characters build up dust. It's terrible, I know. But you really can't go wrong with this Batman Beyond. I really like the wingspan. They intentionally made this figure to take up space. He's got the rockets underneath his boots. It's just nice, man. Alright. So this, I believe his name is Dawnbreaker. He's Bruce Wayne from a different Earth. And in this universe, after Bruce's parents die, Bruce gets a green ring. So he still moves on to become Batman, but he's Batman with a ring of power. Not ring of power, but a Green Lantern ring. A power ring. Whatever they want to call it. So he also has bats underneath his feet. And this story came from the metals. Which is the same story where you get this guy and this guy they're all a part of the same story there's supposed to be seven of them total one of the batman became cyborg one of them became doomsday one of them was a female she was aquaman it was crazy the only thing I didn't like about that story is they should have put more emphasis on the seven Batman instead of just the main bad guy. Like the Batman who laughs, he had a good storyline, but that was about it. The other ones, they just kind of glazed over, in my opinion. Let's come over here real quick. Nightwing, I showed him off in a different video, my Nightwing collection. So this is the only one I have that's not Diamond Select. It's Kurubo Kiosk. I don't know why I have such trouble saying that. But yeah, my favorite character, Dick Grayson. Let's show him some more respect. There we go. Speaking of Deathstroke, right? Yeah. This is a bad A figure. Bad A. Alright. Up to the heavy hitters. Some of these guys I showed off in shorts. But it would be injustice to not show you in a video. These two back here, man, we got Bane, we got Darkseid. I mean, who's making more gains here? Look at the magnificence of the gains. The beauty of this dark side is he comes with two different heads, so you can choose. 
Darkseid's always been one of my favorite villains. He's the only one who can really just put a whoop on Superman. Just, he's able to humiliate Superman. And I love that. Because it shows you Superman can't do everything now. And Bane is the same way with Batman. This man has Batman's cowl in his hand. Yeah. I'm real big on Batman's villains, Batman's rogues gallery. I mean, you got the tube. Let's pick him up real quick. You can see the hair in his shoulders. You can see the veins, the venom in his veins, the tube. I really like the boots. My hand is in the way. Let's show this man some respect. Yeah. Come on now. Show that man some respect. All right. Back to dark side real quick. I really like the face because you can see the Omega beams about to blast out of his eyes. It's just crazy. Let me put Bane back real quick. Uh, there you go. Like I said, who's making more gains? Let me back up a little bit on him. Yeah, this section's been here for a while. I just never showed it off yet. Look at that. Look at that. I like these ways of organizing because it looks like they're a team. Like they're at battle with someone else. Like everybody put their differences aside and they're at war with something else, some other universe. That's kind of what it comes off as. Yeah. But let me know what you guys think. You know, I hope everybody's having a good weekend. All right, peace.